Minecraft is an open-ended environment where you build things with blocks, all different sorts of blocks. So you can kind of see down there is a tree. I'll point at it with the plus sign in the middle. Use that as our cursor. I'm building. And then there's uh, some animals out there. That's part of the world. And um, yes, yeah, Swifty is demonstrating how you can build with blocks. So he's making an elevator out of red wool. And he's flying up. And I can move around. So, so we're in creative mode now. So normally when you're playing a game, you don't kind of fly around like this. But you can see, you can just kind of place blocks. These are kind of like Cuisinair rods. I've just placed um, colored blocks next to each other. So you should think of these as kind of lying horizontally. There's a one block, and below it, yep, Swifty will demonstrate. Two is the red, three is light green, and then purple is four, yellow is five, dark green is six, black is seven, eight, nine, and then orange is ten. Okay, so they just kind of visually represent the quantity and then the color makes it easy to, to distinguish at a glance how many are there. Now let's look at multiplications for the numbers between 1 and 10. Uh, we've already set up the multiplication for most of these just to save time, right? And you need to fill in the ones that are missing, okay? So we've got 1, which is just 1, one times 1. Then we've got, what's this one? 2. 1 times 2 and... Two times four. What other, can you do any others? No. Okay. Over here we've got three. one times three. One times three. And two times four. Any others? No. Over here we've got one times four. And one times four. And any others? Yeah. Okay. Okay, so that's two times two, right? Because it's two yeah. two rods and there are two of them. Any others? For four? Okay, what's okay. next? Eight is one times eight, two times four. What else? Four times four, two times four. No, I mean four times two, two times four. Okay. Not Great. Two times four, that's right. Yeah, yeah, that's right. And then four times two. Awesome. Any others? Yeah. Okay. Here's nine, which is... One times nine, two times four. And then we already... We already have this here, right? Which is? Um, three times three. Three times three, okay. And ten. One times two. Two times one. Very times Five times two. Two times five. Okay, so just a few things. So let's go back through and think about the questions we talked about at the beginning. So what's a number? Each of those is a number. What is a number? A number is the quality. A number is a quantity. Yeah, quantity. But the thing is, we have these different ways of kind of playing with the quantities or, or representing, constructing the same quantities, right? There's different ways to make yeah. the four here. Okay, so some of the kinds of numbers you mentioned, even numbers. Well, I've noticed that all the even ones, except, um, yeah, two, except two, have um, ways you can multiply them, and all the odd numbers except nine do not. So okay. those are prime numbers. Well, that's interesting. So, okay, so prime numbers, so the, the things that we, you mentioned were even, odd, and prime. Yeah. So let's talk about them one and at a time. Roots. And square roots. So let's talk about them one at a time, okay? So even numbers. Here are the even numbers, right? Two, yeah. four, six. six. What do they all have in eight, common? Ten. They each eight, have ways you can multiply. Ten. ten. They each have ways you can multiply, but more specifically, what do they have in common that the other ones don't, these? Yeah, they all have a block of red, right? Because that means you can divide, you can build it out of just twos, which means you can multiply something by two to get them. That's what an even number is, right? So what's an odd number? It's all the other ones, which... An odd number is you cannot make it two odd twos. There are no reds in any of the odds, right? You can't make them out of twos. Okay. So the prime numbers here are, t tell me which ones they are. They, they're, um, the prime numbers? Yeah. Three, six, nine... Oops, not wait. six, right? Six three. is here. Yeah, yeah. Three, five. Three, five. Nine. What about this one? Wait, is nine a prime number? Look at it. You nine can, is not. Can you tell if it is by yeah, looking at not. it? Yeah, it's not. Um, okay. it's three. It's not because why? Five, seven, oh. and... Yeah, three, five, and seven. Okay, so but what you said before was none of the odd numbers, all the odd numbers were prime. Except nine. Except nine, right? And how do you know? What do all the odd what do all the prime numbers have in common? 
of a prime number? Which it's you have to include two here, even though it's even, it's prime. It's the only even it? prime. Yeah, it's the only even prime. Okay. So two is prime, three is prime, five is prime, seven is prime. Those are all the primes between one and ten, right? What do they all have in common? You can see it right here. They each can't they each have, can't reach them by multiplying. You can't reach them by multiplying, that's right. You can't reach them by multiplying. That the only ways to build those numbers are with the number itself, the rod, right? So if it's seven, you can divide to get them to add to get them. Into. That's right. That's very good. That's right. But you can't multiply to get them. It's prime numbers. So um, the only way to build them, and you can see it here, right? They're all there's either one rod, which is the original kind of number. This is a three rod, or you can build it out of ones, of course, because you can build anything out of ones. It's a good thing we have one, right? Yeah. <laughs> so that's prime numbers. Um, wait, what was that other? Um, ah, square roots. Very good. Thank you. So, okay, so do you know what a square root is? What's a square root? The only square root I know mm -hmm. is tens, which is a hundred. Okay, very good. Okay, so ten, so uh, if we were showing a hundred. is ten, right? Uh, no. The square root, oh, uh, so look, let's, so do you know where the word, why they call it a square root? No. So look at these, do you see, what do you, what shape are these? What shape are these? Well, so these are rectangles with one on the side. What about this? This one, this one block is, but what shape is it? It's a square. It's a square. Do you see any other squares here? Yeah. Where? Down there. Here. Let's see if we see any other squares here. Any other squares? Yeah. Where? Yeah. There's a square. Oops. Let's go up and see if we see any others. Any other squares? So we've seen three. We've seen three. Nine has a square. Four has a square, and one was a square, right? Do you think that has something to do with square roots? Yeah. What is it? One square is four. One square root is nine. Well, okay. So if you look at the squares. What's the length of the side of this square? Well, so what's the, okay, so the, um, I'll just tell you, the one block, right, is just one unit. So it's, it's one square and it's one, one unit in length, right? It's just one. So the square root of one is one. If you look at four, it's two. Why, did, why is that? How do you know that? Because it has two blocks on its side. Because it's a perfect square, it's two rods and there are two of them, right? Yeah. How about the other one we saw, this nine rod? What's the square root of nine, if we look at this? Three. Three, because? That's the other side. It's three rods and they're three in length. Oh, that's really easy. I know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, that's the mystery of square roots. That it's is definitely much easier than a teacher talking about. <laughs> okay. Yeah.